Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, guys, I'm doing a limited time $10 reading, a personal reading. If you're interested, you can hit me up in my description underneath my video and email me. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do this reading for today for my soul family. And let's see what spirit has for us today. Okay, so right right away I'm seeing uh, a lot of people have a wish fulfillment, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you are praying right now. You're praying for something better to come. Uh, you know, the stress with the money and everything is absolutely unbelievable. And, you know, we're all suffering, or many of us are. The rich probably aren't, okay, I would imagine. And... I am seeing a lot of happiness coming in with this new person coming in for you guys that I've been talking about for weeks, okay? So guys, you know, just talk to people, you know, don't be closed because a lot of you are going through stuff and you're kind of like, you know, not aware, but maybe in your own bubble kind of thing because you're so, you know, you have so much on your mind that you're not really being observant and you know, checking out what's around you. So guys, don't miss this opportunity, okay? Don't miss this person. This person is, you know, going to be special for you, okay? And yeah, again, they're showing that things are being devised behind the scenes for you. And I see this person coming in with this flourishing wand, guys. All right, so I'm seeing, I'm picking up on a an energy here who is very confident and able to take care of themselves quite well. Okay, this person has worked hard and their hard work has paid off. I'm seeing money around this person, okay? I'm seeing money. Um, although this person has their stuff together, there is some kind of, you know, stuckness, feelings that, that you know, kind of frozen, like can't move ahead, lacking... Um, you know, right at this moment, just kind of lacking the ability to move forward. And this person is feeling left out in the cold in some way. Okay. Um, yeah, they, they're saying that, you know, again, guys, your justice is to move away from this. So if you guys are, you know, surrounding yourself with people like this, even family members that are sneaky and underhanded or a significant other, you don't have to tolerate that. It's negativity, guys, and it brings down your, you know, your, um, it, it brings down your spirit, firstly, okay? And secondly, it lowers your vibration. And when your vibration is low, you cannot manifest, you can't pull things in. That's how the universe works, okay? Don't try to understand it, it just is. And I'm seeing this Ace of Wands coming in for you guys. They want you to be open and aware, and they want you to use your intuition, guys, okay? Use your intuition so you could pick up on this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a hand coming out from the clouds. It's, it's a heavenly gift. It's things like new beginnings and, you know, good things rolled up with this flourishing wand, guys, for you. And I don't want you to miss out on these things. They, they could be opportunities, um, new beginnings, things like that, okay? Recognizing this, recognizing these positive things versus negative things is going to be your justice, guys, okay? Look at the positive. Don't, we as human beings tend to, you know, stay on the negatives and stop even noticing the positives because the negatives require so much more energy and so much more emotion that it, it, you know, yeah, we need to start focusing on the positive. Okay. And I'm seeing you guys are working really hard and your hard work they're saying is going to pay off for you. Okay. You're uh, a lot of you are feeling alone right now, wanting, wishing somebody would come into your lives, okay? You want to share your life with somebody. You don't like being alone. You want to feel that giddy feeling. You want to feel butterflies. You want to feel spontaneous and free with this new person who is coming in, okay? This person is coming in and they want you to come out of your, you know, if you're depressed or, you know, you're going through it. They want you to come out so you don't miss this, okay? Some of you are working on a project right now. You're working on a, a business or, 
you know, you're going to be doing something creative. They're saying this is the time. Go for it. You're going to be successful. And your cup is going to be running over with joy and happiness, okay? Along with this person who's coming in. I keep seeing this person for you guys. All right? This is an offer coming in for you. Don't miss it. All right, guys. Some of you, again, you know, people that are feeling alone and, you know, are just feeling anxiety because you really de detest being alone, guys. All right? This love is coming in to give you their cup, all right? And it's going to be a very passionate love. It's going to be a very tight, tight, like, partnership. You guys are going to be 50-50. You're going to both be bringing the same amount to the table, unlike the past. Unlike the past, guys, where you always got the shitty end or most of the time, all right? Think back. When were you ever with somebody who, who either brought 50% to the table or more? Haven't you always felt like you were the giver? This is going to be different, guys. This person coming in is going to be like nothing else, all right? They're bringing the sun. This is extreme total happiness, guys. The sun is all about happiness and joy, all right? I'm seeing that you're going to get some contact about this person who wants to come in and give to you, guys. They have money too, all right? They want to give you their heart, but they want to give you their money as well. Here's the person again. They also want to sweep you off your feet. And this person, guys, is very loyal, okay? You're going to want to be celebrating when they come in. This is what Spirit is telling you today, guys. Listen up, okay? You're moving into new waters. They don't want you going into this new relationship like this, all right? This is the past. This is all from all the bullshit, all the events, and all the past relationships that weren't, weren't good. I'll say that, okay? They weren't for you. They weren't good. They were lessons. Lessons to be learned and teachings, guys. And now the karmic is over. You've learned. You've taught. Now it's time for you. It's time for you to be happy and have good things coming in. And spirit is going to make sure that that happens. They're doing it behind the scenes right now for you. That's what the new cycle is about. Okay? They're reminding you again to ignore these tiny little offers from the past. If you broke up with someone who wasn't making you happy, don't go back because you're lonely. Take the time to yourself. Connect with spirit. Connect with, you know, something healthy, something good for you. Do, you know, do things for yourself. Nurture yourself, okay? Um, somebody, some of you are in a commitment that, you know, you're, you're either starting to ignore or you need to ignore, okay? Because this person here, this person is toxic. It's just pure, unadulterated toxicity, guys, okay? And you need to balance this out. This is confusion. This is confusion and just a lot of garbage, you know? Nothing's making you happy here, so go. You know, do what you got to do. And, and clear the path for your new cycle with all these beautiful things coming in, okay? It's okay to be alone for five minutes, I promise. You need to be alone with yourself and learn to love yourself and feel good about you and feel okay being alone with you. What's wrong with you? You're a light. You're God's children. You're this bright, beautiful light and you don't know it for some of you. Some of you do. But a lot of you don't, okay? You don't know what how what you're capable of yet, okay? So, yeah, somebody's feeling stuck and conflicted because, and their money's being juggled, okay? You need to put an end to that. That's coming from spirit. You need to put an end to the money juggling, whatever that is, okay? Somebody's taking your money. Somebody's not giving you the correct amount of money. Your boss is cutting you, you know, not giving you that, that, raise you were promised or you know taking money away guys you can get anything you want right now okay you have the world you know that card will come up for you if i keep going the world is at your feet and you have all these opportunities right now waiting for you if you're vibrating high enough guys that's the ticket all right some of you are moving away from this tower moment you're having it right now right this second this horrible tower moment okay 
tower moment explained is just an event or something that happened in your life that is like earth shattering emotionally to you. Okay. There's people falling out of a building. You know, there's a bunch of stuff going on in here. Um, it's on fire. You know, this is how you would feel in your life if you're going through a tower moment. Um, you guys are getting smart and you're moving away from that kind of stuff, okay? And it's divinely guided that you move away from it, okay? So, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on someone's manifesting this new love, or a lot of you are. You're manifesting this new love who is special in that they are going to care about your feelings, your emotions, and your happiness, guys, for once, okay? So here is the, the new cycle, all right? We're all getting this. This is unlike a new beginning. This is a whole cycle dedicated to your betterment, things for your betterment coming in for you, a new beginning, a new plan for you. God has a new plan for us, guys. We're going into a thousand years of peace, okay? And here's your new person. This is part of the cycle, the new cycle. And there's stability coming in. They want you to make a decision, guys. Your decision is what do you want? Do you want to stay in a place where you're not happy and you're struggling? Or do you want to move into a new, beautiful relationship and a happier place, okay? Go get that new job. Ask your boss for a raise. Ask nicely. If your boss says no, then put out some feelers in your field, okay? Do like three different, uh, go to three different places and on the interview, negotiate twice as much, all right? The worst they're going to say is, well, we can't give you this, but we can give you that. All right, and you're still going to be better off. Tell them you can't call my boss. I didn't tell them I'm leaving, and that is your right, guys. All right, so that's the video for today. Take care.